This time, the bird is not the word. It's plagiarism. So, The Word, starring Bradley Cooper, Zoe Saldana, and Jeremy Irons, Dennis Quaid, and Olivia Wilde. Seems like a pretty good movie uh, from what was advertised, but uh, upon watching it actually was kind of alright. The um, story was interesting. Uh, the characters seemed a bit too simplistic and uh, weren't well developed. Uh, I mean, when, uh, when, you, when you, you're supposed to get, get to know all these characters, you're supposed to maybe connect with some of them. I didn't feel really connected to Bradley's Cooper character or any of the other characters. They were just kind of, like I said, simplistic. It was just kind of like rushing a little bit to get the end. It seemed like, the movie itself seemed like it dragged, but the story was just kind of rushed. Like it, it was just going through the motions, wanting to get it done. Uh, the only character you really do kind of feel a connection with is Jeremy Irons' character, the old man who who tells his life story about how he created the story that Bradley Cooper copied uh, to publish as his own. And you connect with him more than the main character, which kind of seems like, uh, why, you know? But, it, but it, his story is interesting, and you do feel sorry for this man and sad. And... Uh, and it's kind of interesting that the story of the old man, he doesn't really come to um, Bradley Cooper to um, to ask for money or anything or to have his name on the book. He really... It's, it's, it's interesting. It's not what you would expect. It's it's more of a life lesson than anything that he tries to teach him, which, which is pretty cool. And, um, and what is also interesting about this movie is that it's a story within a story. Uh, the Bradley Cooper story is actually being told by Dennis Quaid's character who wrote this story, the story of the words. And it's kind of... It, it, it's strongly suggested, although it's not 100% confirmed, whether or not it actually happened, whether or not Dennis Quaid's character is the grown-up version of Bradley Cooper, and uh, whether, whether or not this actually happened. Although, yes, I said it's strongly suggested, but it's not 100% confirmed, and it's the ending... The ending of the story, actually, which is one of the downer parts of this movie, is that it just ended abruptly. It, um, yeah, it ended too abruptly. It was like, well, I wanted to know more. It, they tried, you know, say, hey, let's just leave it up to the audience, what happens. But it was just, didn't didn't feel right. It was just, okay, we're just going to end it. I was like, okay, I wanted to know a little bit more, but, oh well. You know, they can end it the way they want, but... It was it was an entertaining movie. I will give it that. Um, there was actually some also some good cinematography uh, in some spots of the movie that was pretty well shot. Um, but other than that it was just an okay movie. I'd give it like two stars out of five. You know, it was it was just a good movie. Some uh, kind of worth your money, but not not something to make a big deal out of people to say you you must see this movie. It's just kind of like eh, just a movie to watch. You know, just to kill a kill an hour and a half or something. You know. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Oh boy, just a couple more days until the rest of the old movie. Not looking forward to it, I'm more looking forward to the game that's coming out next month. Movie, I'm gonna see it anyway. Because I feel like I'm obligated to, because I'm a fan. Well... I'll probably give you a review for that this weekend. I'm hoping to see Lawless sometime this week, and I hope to give you a review for that, too. We'll see. About the whole time you were watching this video, you'd be hoping I'd be singing the bird is the word, weren't you? Sorry to get your hopes up.